how can you understand somebody else's emotion better using NLP? And this was a question from a former student. So the former student would already know my basic answer. So let me first give you the basic answer how, as to how you can use NLP to understand somebody else's emotion better. Well, there's different perceptual positions. And if you want to have any chance to understand somebody else better, you need to get out of your own stuff, your own shit, so to speak. Which means that, that what can help you here is to float your mind into the second perceptual position uh, of NLP, which means is that you float your awareness into that other person's shoes so that in that context that you try to understand the emotion better, you would see what they would see, hear what they would hear, feel what they would feel and smell and taste what they would smell and taste. You can also place it then in the context of their day, the rest of their life, their values, their emotional intelligence, what's going on with them, their job, who are there, their personality type, things like that. And so to, to really sit down or to really process like, well, what, what's this person going through? What's the thought process? What's the experience? Um, and, and then you can get a better understanding as to how they are feeling. Now, when someone is communicating to you, whether they're communicating to you because you are a coach or you're in a relationship or friendship or you're a teacher, when someone is communicating with you, there is a lot going on. So people tend to sort of, especially extroverts, they tend to verbalize their thought process a lot. So you're getting a lot of content thrown at you where you may or may not necessarily be able to pinpoint exactly what it is that they're feeling. So one thing that would help is say, well, okay, can you help me understand hear what you're feeling. Now you need to understand that you're going to get an avalanche thrown at you. There's maybe a lot of different emotions, a lot of different content being thrown at you, but it's almost like you want to stop time a little bit. You want to, to stop the person in their tracks and say, Hey, um, the emotion that you just mentioned, or you can literally ask what specifically did you feel uh, that, that emotion that you were experiencing, can you tell me a little bit more about that emotion? So rather than letting them lead you to guide you off track into whatever comes next in their story and their is to just actually start to hone in to, no, 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 let's track back. What is this? Where does this sadness come from? There, where is, where is this? I don't know, the, this happiness come from? And to, to really start to kind of like look at the detail behind it and dig deeper. Um, what allows you to dig deeper um, is asking questions like who, what, and how specifically. Um, and, and where it even comes to, to emotions is like, where do you feel this inside your body? What specifically is it that you're thinking? How specifically, um, is this emotion process? Does it go up and then taper off or do you keep building it? So you, you really focus on a piece of the gigantic elephant, um, and stick with that. And it will really boost your communication skill, your coaching skills, um, if you're allowed to yourself to not be pulled off track all the time. So that's my take in how to use NLP uh, to understand what somebody else, uh, somebody else is feeling a lot better.